Well, sheet music is not just for the piano anymore. Jen Wilhelm from LivelyGrace.blogspot.com joins us now with some very interesting decorations. This, this is, is really cool. This is something you don't Thanks. normally see because you have to destroy something to create it. <laughs> I realize that. <laughs> but there's a lot of like old sheet music out there that you can find at flea markets and things like that, right? Flea markets, thrift stores, your grandmother's piano bench. Uh, um, with grandma's permission. With grandma's permission, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> and so I try and be mindful of what sheet music I may be mm -hmm. using. Okay. Um, that That's it, right. But if somebody's moving it on it isn't important to them any longer. Mm -hmm. um, also I've kind of on this one I used an, just an old book oh, as well okay. and the book was falling apart and pages were coming out so okay, I didn't so feel just too bad about she that. She did one. not destroy a book. I did not destroy a book. <laughs> <laughs> She's not a book burner. So how do okay. we do this? How do we yeah. make wreaths out of these uh, sheet music and book pages? Uh, first I kind of start with reusing something else. So okay. um, this one is actually from a pizza box. It's a pizza box. <laughs> pizza box. You can use okay. an old okay. box regardless list too. Um, to kind of help get your size of the background for mm -hmm. the wreath, I used a larger plate and then a smaller one on the inside and okay. cut that out. Okay. You can see that I didn't get too worked up about the small stuff on covering this, but I did cover the cardboard so that when you're looking at it from the, the front, front, you so couldn't tell. So that there's nothing the coming, through. coming okay. through on it. Mm -hmm. Very good. So you just kind of exactly. wrapped it kind of haphazardly. Just haphazardly. It's also great if you're like in a baton room. <laughs> twirling twirl baton. Yes. You want to twirl How many things? pages are you going to need to make one of these? I try and estimate about 60 to 70 depending okay. on the size of the cones that you want to make and some for covering up the back. And I don't mind if the sheets personally are ripped and worn. These are mm. actually it an might older add to vintage really gives character to it, mm -hmm. doesn't it? You can also find printable sheet music online and print those off, make photocopies on kind oh, of some okay. paper if you don't aren't able to find some or don't want to be um, using vintage Okay. Old sheet now music. can we just use sheet music in books or can we use other things as you well? You can use other things as well. You can even head to the craft store and get paper that you like. Oh. Um, and you can roll make a holiday it, wreath that, make way, a holiday holiday wreath that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I brought some just old car maps and things. I uh -huh. thought those would put a lot of color and oh, be wow. kind of cool in there because really. maps are pretty yeah. hip and yeah. in decor They're and things cool that way. Right now, you're right. And I did see one that was done with sheet music that included the covers. Oh, so okay. it had covers and back pages and some color and oh, some wow. all I the same I think together. I actually have that music book. He would like to play yeah. it now. <laughs> I remember like long hours spent in front of the piano with that one. Uh, I don't think you'd like what I would play, but and you don't have to always put them in a wreath either. No, those I just kind of tucked in there for the next wreath that I'll be working on. Um, that makes a lovely decoration. It's kind of fun. I kind of yeah. like, yeah, the fan here. That's very cool. And the fan. So really okay. it kind of... looks pretty easy, right? It, it, it looks pretty easy. Do watch your fingers. I use a or hot glue gun. No. This is pretty thin to try and roll and glue. Okay. Um, so a hot glue gun, it well, helps I'm, out a lot rather I'm than noticing, trying to yeah. press the cones. With the book pages, you don't even do a full um, twist. Like there's an opening in these because mm -hmm. they're so small. Because the they're smaller. Okay. Exactly. Okay, so you, so it, it's not technical how you want to roll okay. up your sheet music page. Is <laughs> so there a right way um, and a wrong way? or Not really a right way and a okay. wrong way to me. Right. But I don't know. But the sheet music pages are bigger, and you'll see that there's still even an open space there. Okay. You can tighten them up if you don't like the opening that way. I like the exposed corner on them, so some of them are exposed on the wreath. Okay. Some of oh, them okay. are tucked Adds behind. Adds a little more texture, little to, more it. texture to it. And then we just hot glue it. And then just hot glue it. I kind of hit the sides. Mm -hmm. Oh, so we go up a little bit here. Okay. There you go. And then just and roll then it over. Do, 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 and then roll do it, it over on over. And over and over and over again. and over again. And watch your fingers because if that glue, glue slides out, out. Yeah. it's really hot. So then we're just taking and hot gluing to your the, cardboard base. The cardboard. Lots of hot glue in small sections as you work around. Okay. And okay. then to help keep it somewhat centered in the middle, I've used an old cup oh, or um, okay. a, little a little bowl to kind of set in the center of your okay so then background. all the edges can mm -hmm. meet that and exactly okay, that's and a as great you work idea. around kind of work northwest east south and okay. then fill Rather things in otherwise you end up with <laughs> a confused looking yeah. okay. 
a so leaning wreath. You don't, <laughs> don't let your wreath lean. Yeah. <laughs> Jen, this is such a great idea. If people want to get more information about this, they can go to your blog? They can. Mm -hmm. Okay, so www.lively-grace.blogspot.com. Com. Correct. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Jen. And coming up, we'll have your answers to our question of the day.